Uh -huh. All right. Well, uh, thank you for coming. Um, I very much ap appreciate you being able to make it. Um, I haven't made as much progress on my task this week, but I think the plan is just kind of uh, see what updates uh, Beta has particularly. Um, uh, you're kind of the uh, the man of the hour with uh, all the all the stuff going on in Prague and and, and some of that planning, um, and then we will kind of go from there. So, uh, anything you any updates from you, Beta? Well, I have. Um just a few small updates. Okay. Last time when I showed you the uh, several locations where it could be, mm -hmm. uh, the Hilton Hotel was also included and I wasn't sure if it's the, the like the big one that, that will be also hosting uh, the ELCE mm -hmm. or if it's another one and it turned out that it's another one. We really cannot make it in the in the big one because there they simply don't do such small events mm -hmm. like, like ours is, so you have to book at least a hundred rooms in oh, the wow. hotel for guests and so on, otherwise they just wouldn't let you do it there. Mm -hmm. So we are too small, so considering the the venue, I don't think that uh, the, it really makes sense to, dis to, to somehow favor it favor Hilton because it will be another Hilton anyway so mm -hmm. uh, I think we we can we can go I would suggest to go for a good uh, good price com in in combination with the location mm -hmm. uh, that now there uh, we, we may maybe like consider uh, there are two to like from my point of view, two interesting kinds of location. Mm -hmm. uh, one is in the center of Prague, so that we can the people can easily I know go go to the to the historical center in the evening and so on. And the other one is uh, being close to the uh, to the airport. Uh, fortunately, uh, from the airport you can very easily get uh, to the center anyway so the, the the advantage of being close to the to the to the airport is something like I don't know 15 minutes on on a metro line and that's all so I don't think it's a, so such a huge huge difference then there are some locations that are I would say neither in the center nor like on the way to the to the to the airport, so I think maybe this could be like disqualified because we have many, several of them, so uh, we could do it unless I think one of them was uh, very had a very good price. So unless we are forced to go for the really lowest price, I, I think we may disregard these like more remote locations, so to say. Uh, another small small update, or, or I would need info from you, but I, I have checked the dates, and uh, from our point of view, both the dates are, are okay, so either before or after ELCE should be okay. Uh, I had a slight recommendation to do it afterwards, not to do it on, on week, weekend, but that's just like I, I don't think we, if, if if people want to have it on weekend, I don't think this is very important uh, like recommendation for us to to work work on the, the one I, the, the one that is coming from our side like but okay. I, I have a feeling that from the doodle I have seen uh, most people were for having it after ELCE. Is this correct? Or I, I didn't check it in the last week maybe, so it might have changed. Yeah, I'll actually can show this uh, to people. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, the doodle seems to indicate that people would prefer it after. Mm, um, yeah, I, I think very clear, clearly. Indeed. Yeah. So. We didn't get a ton of people from the core team, which is really what I was hoping we would get more of. Mm, yeah, um, a bit. But uh, notably, 
one person uh, did mention, not from the core team, but um, from Purple mentioned that the Broadband World Forum is actually that Thursday and Friday. I don't think that that is something we should necessarily say uh -huh. excludes Thursday and Friday, considering how strongly people preferred this, but it, it is kind of an unfortunate conflict. Um, mm, yeah, that's, that's a pity. Yeah. Mm. Um, but I, but my, my worry would be that if people are considering both ELCE and the broadband, uh, whatever it was, broad then mm -hmm. if, if we do it on the weekend, they wouldn't have time anyway because it would mean for them to have seven days of continual, like, uh, conferences meetings yeah. or, yeah. Or, or something, so, or conferences, so it's, it would probably not be interesting for them anyway. I'm not sure. I would tend to yeah. agree. Oh. And I think the target audience, too, for the Broadband World Forum is a little bit more on the um, business, uh -huh. non-technical side, and so it's the Open Never Two Summit is much more supposed to be focused on the technical side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I agree. Hans, I, I don't know, do you have any uh, insight into kind of how this if this is relevant to folks, to you or to other folks at uh, uh, in your group at uh, Technicolor? No. Uh, I don't think people here are planning to go to the Robot uh, World Forum effect. Okay. All right. So, then. Uh, mm -hmm. I think most people would give priority to the OWT summit. Oh, I'm always glad to hear that. Um, all right, At least then. The ones, huh? <laughs> Say that again? At least the technical people. Yeah, that makes sense, definitely. So I think we will kind of, uh, I think, I, I mean, I don't even know if we necessarily need to vote on it, but I think that we we will go with the Thursday and Friday. It seems to be that reasonable, the 26th yes. and 27th. Um, and plan on that. Yes, it, it, I, I think it really makes sense. So now, now that we have the have the dates, mm -hmm. I think we, we should somehow like um, concentrate, or, or, or the next goal should be to to select the venue. Yes. Uh, what what uh, other data would you like to have? from our side before we before we vote on it uh, we have a lot of information there i think if we if we know the if we know the uh, concrete date we can maybe get like more precise quotes but i am not sure if that's really necessary uh, quick quick question on location is the um are the airport venues much cheaper than the city center? Is that why they're an option? Uh, no, no, no. It, it, uh, I don't think so. It, it, it's no. like a mix, and none of them is really like uh, at the airport. It's more on the way from from the from the airport to the uh, to, to the, the center. center. Anyway, oh, I see. So. I see. I think if it, you can get as an affordable option close to the city center, where you don't have to take transit into the center, that, that's a preference if, if you can get it affordably. If, you, if okay. you can't get it affordably, then you kind of push out and find something along public li public transportation lines, but, um, you know, it's that balance that you're looking for where city center is optimum location and then you have to balance that with cost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I think we can find like affordable venue even in the city center, so this shouldn't be so much of a problem. Uh, the cost of transport for people is is very low. It's like for roughly some some something above one dollar, you can get a ticket for for the ride from the from the airport to the center, or for something like 
it might be. I, I'm not sure right now. Exactly. But so, so that's ideal. So there's no reason to stay near the airport. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can have a have a pass for the th for three days for something like ten dollars or even less. So, if you buy it at the airport, you you are covered for the whole stay. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so let's go. Let's go for the center. So let's see see what's what's there. Uh, if you, if you can maybe zoom on the map, the, uh, you will see that mm. one, the, the only one that is really like in the there is one on the on the south. This mm -hmm. one I think we should we should disregard because this is. Uh, neither close to the airport nor in the center. It's like in the, in the opposite direction, almost from the airport. So this is not very very good, and it's in a not very nice part of the city, so to say. So uh, uh, like not not interesting for tourists. Mm -hmm. It's not a, nothing horrible, way, but uh, and uh, and the other ones are uh, either mostly in the center. That's I think the the whole, the. Uh, Hilton is the most, uh, yeah, most closely closest one to the center, but the rest of them are also very close to, like part of the old town, which is uh, near the Prague Castle. So this is also a very interesting uh, point for for like sightseeing. So and some of them are like closer to there and some are farther. Uh, there is the FID, which is the uh, a university. Mm -hmm. uh, there, if we want to do it on a, on like a, on a weekday, it would be a problem. I think, I, I know that, or I think it's the, this is the cheapest option if, if you want mm -hmm. to go there. But it, um, it might be possible to arrange it on a weekday uh, if we know it so so far in advance, but it might not be possible uh, anyway. I'm not sure. It, the, they usually don't can't do it on on weekdays, and the only um, possibility is to book it really a long time uh, ahead, which I am not sure if is possible right now or not. I think we should we should strongly look into that simply because I, you know I nothing I mean I, I enjoy universities personally but I, I think that it's not a bad bad idea and also the cost is so low it'd be good to at least get a sense of is that possible um, because I, I think okay. that would be a good choice actually because um, the other ones um, like we're talking like ten thousand more euros. If not mm -hmm. more, I guess the H Hotel International is five thousand, so it's not quite that. But, um, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe before before we go like into into detail, I think right now I would I would ask uh, our like realization team. What they would recommend? What what mm -hmm. is their like personal preference for for such a such a meeting? What what they think? Where they have the best like experience? Because I know that sometimes they told me, okay, the catering here is is like very pricey, but you get very good value for it. Mm -hmm. In a different value menu, it's the the price of the catering is very very high, and it's not the a good quality there. It's like I think they mentioned the Hilton that the catering there there is like mm, overpriced from their point of view, and so on. So I, I will I will try to get some like more uh, how to say it their, their personal experience, their, their their feelings about each of the venues, and uh, we could we can take it into consideration as one of the one of the data, one of the one of the part of the data. On the other hand, if if there is like a 
budget limitations, limitation that we already know of. I know that it's early days, we don't have sponsors probably yet, but if, if we already know that I know 30,000 euros is too much, then we can simply like remove the candidate from the list and continue with the others. Yeah, I would say that 30,000 euros is certainly too much. Um, I think the, cl the, the, the lower is the better. Um, I think that while we don't have a, a set budget, um, I think that realistically, uh, I think uh, $20,000 as a total budget is probably realistic and hopefully a significant portion of that can be offset by sponsors. Um, okay. So, so does it mean that Purple doesn't have a fixed, fixed budget, or that uh, if you if you count in what Purple has, you don't think we will get over twenty with sponsors? That that's total. I mean, we can I, Purple realistically would. I I think I. We would like to spend, uh, honestly, uh, as as little as possible. Um, <laughs> okay. Simply with cost, it, it's it's we don't have a very large budget for for the event this year, so as much can be offset as possible. But the more we, the higher the you know the cost of the venue, the less we have to spend on other things, and the more we have to raise. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, I think I think. Um if we really want to go low cost, then maybe there are ways to save or save on the catering. But okay. it depends. It depends on on the venue. Uh, but they definitely have like different standard packages for catering. I, I think we uh, this this pricing was made on something that we usually do during our like conferences so it includes uh, probably one one hot meal for lunch and then some like some something small to nibble during the coffee breaks mm -hmm. but we, we can we can cut down on, on catering expenses probably mm -hmm. uh, I will I will ask about this uh, how much how much can we expect to save on, on catering if we really want to go like low, low, low cost. What was the what was the quantity of people for the catering estimate? How many uh, people? It's, it's, it's somewhere at the beginning of the presentation. There is some some facts some, that we were okay. we based that. this on. It's one hundred and fifty. One hundred fifty. Okay. One fifty. Yeah, because I, I agree. European catering tends to be really good. I'm not opposed to that, <laughs> and. Uh, um, you know, ELCE. I don't think they get. Well, they get they get decent catering, but they get it at such a mass quantity that you get you know little things. I, if they include like a full meal, I think that's a really good price for 150 people for a couple days. Um, remember that we're getting two days, not mm -hmm. one day, and we're getting you know two days of meals that include lunch drinks, coffee breaks. Um, that's the other thing, Eric, that uh, the, the food costs and the mm -hmm. so forth are a pretty significant chunk of this, probably. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's going to be, definitely. Okay, so I will, I, will, I will again ask my people what they would recommend as the best, best venue with the best uh, price to let's say performance ratio mm -hmm. and we can then then go ahead based on this uh, f for the for the venues which they would recommend I can get some more information like um, what are the um, like interesting places to see around and, and whatever is there anything else you would like to know about the venues uh, anything special that isn't here in the presentation and so you should consider? I think I, I agree you should use the recommendation of the team that's doing the research because if they can find you know uh, 
convenience obviously is is nice, but but something that's not over the top. We don't need a fancy place, but flexible and just um, flexible and and good service on the food and so forth. You know, if they know of any, if they've if they've gotten recommendations from other people or looked up reviews, that's that's kind of what's important is just to make it a nice social event with. With nice treats and a and a small enough venue that's flexible in that way, you know, who's who's really trying to help us out. Sometimes the big, the bigger the hotel, the less personable and the less <laughs> less yeah. you get out of it. You know, one one advantage is that I think most of the venues, if if not all of the venues, uh, we have really had some. Uh, personal experience with so we have hosted at least one one thing there so we could uh, at least the people I'm I'm working with so they could recommend really based on their personal experience which is always good that's fantastic yeah that's excellent okay how how many how, how many venues would you think we should vote from will we just take everything that's there or should I just come with with uh, come with the best recommendation or uh, sorry I would say come with the best recommendation and then we okay just, okay so we don't vote, we don't need necessarily to vote I don't I think so something then no. nobody yeah nobody else has the has the real insight in the data I think okay. it's just come with the best recommendation okay 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 so I will I will simply try to come with the best one. If if I see the some kind of like trade offs made there, I will try to point them out or come with an alternative solution which has a different trade offs. But I, I will try to simply come with one one like the best solution. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, thank you, Betta. You this is, again, fantastic. You guys have done, so far, a spectacular job in, in helping us out with this. We, I don't think we could do it with without all your help, so we appreciate it. Um, well, but most of the work is in front of us, so let's, let's hope, hope yes. it, will, it will work. Well, that's true, it, it, but it's gone well so far. Um, so, uh, I guess... We will. We've settled on the 26th and 27th. Uh, that is something notable we should remember. Um, and then we will, with the uh, um, bet out, we'll go ahead with uh, getting us a recommendation. Um, and then we will see it uh, in two weeks. We can we can have that set. Um, going through the task list, uh, researching and evaluating possible locations. That's done. Um, Evaluating sponsorship programs for similar events. Uh, I have not made much progress with that, Kathy. I assume that since I haven't heard from you, you haven't made much progress in that either. No, I have not. But this is a good. Is, is this? A, I have to find my way back to this link um, so I can remind myself of these things. But. Um, Can you post? Is there a chat window here? Yeah. Yep. Can you post this I'll get link the in this chat window? I'm going to run and find it. Yeah. Put that right there. Okay, cool. All right. That's why I attend these meetings to remind myself what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No. Oh. Um. Well, about the sponsorship, uh, I have asked uh, a few colleagues of mine, mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, the, the s things we do are usually paid by someone who d really doesn't care much about sponsorship. So, <laughs> almost everything we, we we did was like paid for by the by the main. It was paid by ICANN or IEDF mm -hmm. or whoever. So these are like big names that have uh, budgets big enough so that they don't need sponsors. So I really cannot help with this. I, I have no idea. 
No, I completely under. Yeah, I, I've not done anything with this. This so this is at um pre, prior to this. So it's the the ones I I did look at or um I think I mentioned the last meeting. I I, I did look at a couple uh, organizations that uh or events that were I thought kind of similar sized. Um, apparently my Slack is on. Um. Somewhat similar sized, uh, I, I thought, um, a, little, a little bigger. Uh, the uh, Git Merge, which is the Git conference, um, they, I looked at them, I looked at um, Battle Mesh, uh, and I looked at uh, Libre Planet. Those are the ones that are kind of the ones I know of in my um, circle. Someone recommended I look at FOSDEM. I forgot to do that. Um, that's probably another one, although FOSDEM's quite significantly larger, I think. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know how they. I don't know how they organize such a huge event. <laughs> it's I, amazing. I have no idea. No, it's it's it is absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, I the the I have to I have to look into a little bit more on the sponsorship programs, but uh, I think. Uh, anything we can do to to make this work, so that we can we can make sure that we can have a good event and and actually uh, actually can afford to do it do a good event, is is very important. Um, so, uh, Kathy, do you want to meet separately on this, or maybe talk about this later, or how do we want to go ahead with this? I, yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think you're right. We should just pick a couple of, a handful of events that are similar to this, and, uh, uh, you know, NetDev is another one I've sprung up in the last three or four, three or so years, and they reach out to sponsors, and it's pretty much direct, but you have to have a sponsor form for somebody to pay out against, so we'll need that as well. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. They, they can, uh, we can probably lend us theirs. All right. Yeah, definitely. Something. Okay. We can uh we can exactly yeah. we can get that. Um so do we want to have a uh, kind of a, a summary or what do we want to have by the next meeting? Do you think, Kathy? Well, I think yeah, I think we just need a a brief presentation. We'll select the location. We'll say, you know, here it is, here are the dates. Uh Expected participants, uh, and the the range of where people come have come from in the past, you know, companies and core teams, kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Just a little prospectus on on the event. Okay. And then we make it into a PDF and we pitch it out, you know, over email, and send it out to some companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Including including the you know the carriers who are involved. Mm -hmm. It also might help. Uh, you know, justified people to travel to the event when they when their company is sponsoring it. It's a good point. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Then uh, we will work on that uh, offline. Yeah. So beta, if you uh, you know whenever you can come up with the location, we'll <clears throat> just um, Eric, you can send it to me or something, and then we can create okay. a little. Okay. Yeah, okay. So. Eric, you can start adding anything you know about it, um, including if you have in, insight on past participants. Okay. Yeah, definitely. We can definitely do that. Okay. Just, uh, just a note. Uh, uh, I would like to that CZNIC would sponsor the the social. Mm -hmm. But I don't have a have an okay on this yet so okay hopefully next time I will be able to say if we, we, we will do well, it or beta you can sponsor the social and then beta, you can say you can sponsor it and then you can say well the social event could be will take you for a, a, a walk around the city center <laughs> or you know you can go from there <laughs> whatever the budget allows it could even oh, okay. be free <laughs> yeah, you're well, responsible uh, for social just the, the the budget behind the social is up to you to figure out uh, later. But you guys are the locals. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Tell us yeah. where to go. Tell us what to look at. Take us on a walk. 
Okay, we will we will think about something, but I, I would like to get. Uh, I, I have some idea what we would like to have as a social, and mm -hmm. I, I would like to get the money for it from my boss. So okay, definitely. I need to work on. It. Definitely. Okay. Awesome. I think if if you are in Prague, you 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 simply must have a few beers. That's okay. that's a must. So uh, just walking around wouldn't work for me. as a good social <laughs> in Prague. Uh, all right. All right. Um, well, I'm glad that uh, you're looking at uh, sponsoring it, um, and uh, very, very glad to hear that. Um, moving on, uh, proposing a budget for the event. I think that uh, I don't know if necessarily the social would fit into here, but the I think the a budget for the event would be approximately about ten thousand dollars a day. Um, I don't think we would want to go much above that, um, particularly, uh, so I think that's probably a good assumption, and that's going to have to include things like some travel um, for some of the speakers. Um, so it, it's going to be pretty tight, but I, th I think that should be, it should be feasible. Well, speaker travel could also be where we, where we hit up some of the corporate sponsors. We don't tell them necessarily, but, you know, the more we can get more corporate sponsors, the more we can bring in people who couldn't otherwise go. Oh, absolutely, definitely, without a doubt. And fortunately, it's it, the cost of getting people, since most of the speakers are going to be in, um, a lot of the speakers, particularly core team members, are based in uh, Germany. It's not like this is a ridiculously expensive cost to get them there. Um, if they what can. Are, what are the typical hotel per night rates, though? That's that's another question because there's a couple nights a hotel here at least. That's a good point. Uh, it it really depends. Uh, you can uh, there you have the prices for some of the conference hotels. Mm -hmm. It's usually about I would say one hundred dollars. Okay. But you can you can get. Uh, much cheaper accommodation if you look for it, uh, and if you are not particularly choosy, then you can get, I think, to fifty dollars per night okay. for still a very nice hotel. So. Okay. It's very reasonable compared to Berlin and uh, and uh, Dublin. Okay. I will say. Good. So that is that is yeah, also an unfortunate thing. So. Definitely. So yeah, that that's another thing that you're right that it had to take into account. Um, don't need to recruit sponsors yet since we don't have a a, a prospectus, but I I will we will work on that. Um, the technical day event location that is kind of inherent. We assume it's going to be at the same place, so I don't think there's anything to research there. Social event that is on on Bedrick and along with the catering options. Uh, managing the OpenWRT Summit website. I haven't heard anything from Antonio, but I did send him the information. Um, so I will, uh, it's, uh, I'll uh, circle back with him. Uh, the run and plan the use of any social networking accounts. This did come up. I saw a discussion with, with Federico and, and Tamara. We haven't really made any decisions on that, but I think a Probably our the own our own uh, Twitter account would make sense. Um, yeah. Um, most of the other things are things that we would ha will have to do later. Um, so there's nothing else there. Is there anything I didn't cover? All right. Um, so then the the to dos uh, for the next meeting in two weeks are um, Bedrick's going to have the the final recommendation. Um, we will uh, we're uh, Kathy and I are going to talk about the um, the sponsorship or you know work on a, a prospectus and and come up with some tiers of sponsorship and and things like that. Um, 
what else do we have? Uh, we will have to let people know that the that the date of the event is the 26th and 27th of October. Uh, anything else that that we need to discuss or that that is on the to-do list that I forgot? No, I think for my point of view, it's most important to have the venue mm -hmm. uh, selected, and then we can move, uh, move forward with most of the things. I, I think the catering options and even and also the social event location, and so on. It all depends on this. So I would agree. Yeah, yeah. That's the most important thing to to nail right right now. Definitely. All right. I, I think that's I think that's good. So um, you can probably better you can even probably send that to the list if you have the information before the meeting. It's it's okay. Okay. Don't even yes, have to I, wait I, that long. I, I think so. We don't have to keep the keep it for the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, I assume that whatever you whatever you recommend is probably going to be just fine. So um, unless someone has some wild problem with it, I think we'll just go with it. Oh, oh, okay. Um, now now that I see see some of the like start uh, items here on the list uh, that are in bold letters like find lo local hotel options and determine local transportation and so on oh yeah I think this probably goes to me anyway that's probably and true yeah I will, I will uh, so I will include like the local transportation options uh, in the information that I will mm -hmm. give you about the like the best best venue. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to reserving a block of rooms, uh, Eric, do you want it for like for the participants mm -hmm. to, to to like recommend them and have some special special code for them, or is it only for I don't know for you and and other other uh, purple staff? No, I, I think for ev everyone. 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 I mean, it, okay. it, it could be a situation where they may not let us because simply we're not that large. But I mean, if if we can get discounts, awesome for every for a lot of people. For you know, okay, everyone okay. who comes, great. What what would be the number of rooms you you think we should uh, we should like block from from past experience if we have past past experience on this. Well, if we want 150 people, we should try to block at least 100 rooms. I and think so. If we're doing it in a specific hotel, I would even block 150. And then, and then you should have a backup hotel too, in case you know, maybe a lower lower price one with a block yes, of rooms. I also wanted to ask if if you if I should like try to find. Um, Something nearby with with lower overpriced accommodation. Yeah, I, I think you should give give options. Um, it, I mean, part of it depends on how high the the main hotel is. I mean, there I remember there was one one the hotel was like sixty nine euros a night. I mean, I don't assume you're going to get a whole lot cheaper than that. But the ones that are if you're if we're at a hotel that's like one hundred and twenty euros a night, maybe one that's a little cheaper would be nice to have as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't actually know how reserving blocks of room actually work beyond telling them. So I don't know if there's any commitment we have to make or anything like that. Mm, okay. I, I will talk with my people about it. I think they probably would even have some kind of like estimate of the ratio between the people that are coming for the conference mm -hmm. and the number of rooms that we should reserve. Okay. Because my experience is that some sometimes people just want to stay in a like you know low cost accommodation, so they don't go to the to the uh, conference hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, some people just prefer to come for for one day and then travel overnight home mm -hmm. or something. So I, I will ask them for for a recommendation, and I, I will ask them how how this works. And uh, once we have the final venue, we can we can talk with them about the, the concrete conditions that they have for this. Okay. Sounds good. All right. That's great. Thank you, Beta. All right. Um,
anything else then for the next meeting or that we need to do in the next two weeks? Uh, maybe one thing, Eric, uh, mm -hmm. I talked to some of the leading developers uh, regarding the technical day. I talked with uh, John Crispin and Felix Fitko, and they were, or they're both enthusiastic about that uh, technical day. Really? Okay, it's great. So Felix uh, said, okay, if this not, uh, if my schedule allows uh, to be present, I will be present. Uh, John also said uh, the same, but he said, okay, if a part of my travel costs could be covered, then uh, I can be present also. So I'm still planning to talk to uh, Joe Filipovich also, if he is interested in being present. So I'm trying to get some more feedback from uh, the lead developers. That's fantastic, Hans. That's great. I really appreciate that. We would definitely love uh, love both of them there. I, I feel that we can probably get Felix to get there too, um, but yeah, definitely, for sure. But yeah, that's great, and I, I think that um, realistically, I, I think that we would probably be able to cover part of John's, but I, part of that is also dependent upon budget. But Yeah, of course, yes. Uh, Felix uh, even told me he's more interested in a technical day event on the presentation, so because I yeah, that there, I'm not surprised that that some of the some of the developers felt that way. Um, both are important, but yeah, I, I can I can see that it is a very more a little bit more of a hacker kind of feel. So yeah. definitely. All right, um, that's fantastic. Please keep us informed. That great to hear. Great to hear. All right. Um, anything anything else that anyone wanted to bring up? All right. Well, then we, I will let everyone get back to their day or, I guess, evening if, if you're in Europe. Um, have a 7.45 uh, a.m., not hardly evening. Yeah. Well, not for you, but uh, enjoy your morning, Kathy. All right. All right. <laughs> All right thanks. See everyone in two Bye. weeks. Yep. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.